po ako mag-aaral, minamahal ng mga guro at magulang, damhin po natin ang presensya ng Panginoon sa pamamagitan ng panalangin. Aming amang makapangyarihan sa lahat, kami po ay nagpapasalamat sa buhay at kalakasan na patuloy ninyong ipinagkakaloob sa amin. Salamat po sa patuloy na pagsubaybay at paglingap sa amin, lalo na ngayong panahon ng pandemya. Kami po ay humihingi ng awa at kapatawaran sa lahat ng aming kakulangan at pagkakasala na alam po namin hindi kalugod-lugod sa iyong banal na harapan. Dahil sa COVID-19, maraming pagsubok ang aming hinaharap, lalo na po ang aming mga guro. Salamat po sa kanilang mga buhay at kalakasan. Patuloy niyo po silang pagpalain. Bigyan ng karunungan nagmumula sa inyo upang kanilang magampanan ang mabigat na tungkuling na atang sa kanilang mga balikat. Bukod po namin inilalapit ang mga guro na nagpapagal upang sila ay makapaghatid ng mga educational videos para sa aming mga Fernandino. Salamat sa pagbibigay ninyo ng pagkakataon na mabuo ang special TV at ang iba't ibang programa sa TV at radyo upang kami ay matuto kahit nasa sarili kaming mga bahay kasama ang aming mga magulang. Pagpalain niyo po ang lahat ng kanilang mga gawa upang ang mga ito ay makapagbigay ng karangalan hindi lang para sa mga tao kundi mas higit sa iyo, Panginoon. Patuloy niyo po silang bigyan ng maayos na kalusugan, sapat na karunungan, at maalam na determinasyong maipagpatuloy ang layunin ng DepEd at ng San Fernando Elementary School. Hangad po namin ang inyong patuloy na pagmamahal at gabay sa bawat isa sa aming mga Fernandino mag-aaral at sa mga batang mula sa iba't ibang lugar na lagi sumusubaybay sa programang hatid ng Special TV. Patuloy niyo pong ibuhos ang kaalamang nagmumula sa iyo sa aming mga isip at puso. Salamat po sa regalo ninyong pamilya sa amin. Patuloy niyo pong gabayan at patnubayan ang aming mga magulang. Bigyan sila na sapat na kalakasan at karunungan upang kami ay maturuan nila sa tamang daan at makatuwang namin sa lahat ng oras at pagkakataon. Ama, tulungan mo po kami isa pamuhay ang mga aral na dala ng programang ito. Ang lahat ng ito ay aming dinadalangin sa ngalan ng inyong bugtong na anak na si Jesus. Sa ngalan ng Ama, ng Anak, at ng Espiritu Santo. Amen. Stand united by one
learn English. Welcome to Exploring English with Elise. English is fun and exciting. Words, phrases, and sentences are captivating. Vocabulary and grammar are interesting. The universal language is amazing. Learn English. Welcome to Exploring English with I am almost done answering the questions about the story, except this last part. I don't know how to replace the underlined words with the correct personal pronouns. Hey, Elise! What's up? Gina, I can't give the right answers to this question in my module. As the instruction states, I need to replace the underlined words with the correct personal pronouns. But the problem is... The problem is... What, Elise? I don't know what personal pronouns are. Mm -hmm. Don't be sad. Let's go to... The magical world of English! Yes, for you to know them! Yes, please, please, Dina! I can't wait! Well then, close your eyes and let's learn together! Monica. I'm glad you're enjoying your time here. Hi, teacher. I really am. Can you see all these big words, Elise? Mm -hmm. These are called personal pronouns. Personal pronouns? Um, ah, like what is asked from my modules. Teacher, please tell me what personal pronouns are. Okay then, Elise. Listen carefully. A great day to you! Today, we will learn about personal pronouns. Personal pronouns are important parts of speech that we have to learn because we use them in everyday communication. What are personal pronouns? Personal pronouns are words that replace nouns. Personal pronouns refer to a particular person. They can also refer to a certain animal, thing, or place. Pronouns are used as replacements or 
substitutes for nouns. The purpose of pronouns is to avoid repetition and make sentences easier to understand. For example, Catherine is beautiful. Catherine is also kind. Catherine loves her parents so much. To avoid repetition of the name, the pronoun she will replace the name Catherine on the second and third sentences. So, the sentences will be, Catherine is beautiful. She is also kind. She loves her parents so much. She is an example of a personal pronoun. Let's talk more about them. Let's start the discussion with a short story written by Teacher Jocelyn Sarmiento. Listen carefully, kids, because I will ask questions about it to know if you understood the story. Special Days with Family When the pandemic caused by the COVID-19 virus started last March 2020, children like me were not allowed to go out of our homes. So, I helped my mother in doing the household chores. Mother said I could help her by organizing my toys in the cabinet. Mother also asked me to fix our room every morning. My sister and I prepared the table. My sister and I also washed the dishes after meals. My father and brother cleaned the yard. My father and brother watered the plants too. Last Saturday, father repaired the broken things in our house. Father also fed the dog. The dog is our pet at home. After doing the household chores, mother, father, brother, and I watched a movie together. These are the things we did that made our quarantine day special. Did you like the story? Let's talk about it by answering the questions correctly. What is the title of the story? Amazing! The title of the story is Special Days with Family. Who are the characters in the story? Incredible! The characters in the story are Father, Mother, Brother, and I. Who was asked to fix their room every morning? Awesome! I was asked to fix the room every morning. Who prepared the table and washed the dishes after meals? Fantastic! My sister and I prepared the table and washed the dishes after meals. Who repaired the broken things in their house? Two thumbs up! Father repaired the broken things in their house. Who cleaned the yard and watered the plants? Great job! Father and brother cleaned the yard and watered the plants. Now, let us read the following sentences from the story, Special Days with Family. Kids, pay attention to the underlined words. Mother also asked me to fix our room every morning. Father also fed the dog. My sister and I also washed the dishes after meals. My father and brother watered the plants too. The dog is our pet at home. This time, we are going to say the sentences again. But, notice that the underlined words were replaced by different words. She also asked me to fix our room every morning. The underlined word in the first sentence is mother. Mother is a female parent. We use the word she to replace the noun mother in the sentence. She is a personal pronoun. It is a word that takes the place 
of a singular female noun. Mother is a singular noun in the sentence, meaning it is made up of a noun that refers to only one person. Can you give other singular female nouns? Nice. Sister. Aunt. Grandmother. Welcome to Exploring English with Liz. Welcome to Exploring English with Liz. We have a word of the day. The word is aunt. Aunt means the sister of one's father or mother or the wife of one's uncle. Now, let's use the word sister, aunt, and grandmother in sentences as well as using the personal pronoun she to replace them. She is pretty. She is kind. She is walking. This time, let's read this sentence. Sheena gave Rose Ann a letter. We can also say this sentence this way. Sheena gave her a letter. Her is also a personal pronoun. It is a word that takes also the place of a singular female noun. Kids, let's read this another sentence from the story, Special Days with Family. Father also fed the dog. We can also say this sentence this way. He also fed the dog. The underlined noun in the first sentence is father. As we all know, father is a male parent. We use the word he to replace the noun father in the sentence. He is a personal pronoun. It is a word that takes the place of a singular male noun. Father is a singular subject in the sentence, meaning it is made up of a noun that represents one person only. Can you give other singular male nouns? Amazing! Brother, uncle, grandfather. Now, Let's use these words as well as using the personal pronoun he to replace them. He is thoughtful. He is a farmer. He is caring. This time, let's read this sentence. Mr. Martinez bought Carl a new cell phone. We can also say this sentence this way. Mr. Martinez bought him a new cell phone. Him is also a personal pronoun. It is a word that also takes the place of a singular male noun. Look at this another sentence. Let's read it. I am lovable. In this sentence, I am talking about myself. I is a personal pronoun. I am the speaker or the writer in the sentence. When the singular noun being replaced is the person speaking or writing, the personal pronoun I is used. Remember kids, the pronoun I is followed by the verb am if it is happening at present. Here is another sentence from the story, Special Days with Family. My sister and I also washed the dishes after meals. We can also say this sentence this way. We also washed the dishes after meals. The underlined nouns in the first sentence is my sister and I. We use the word we to replace the words my sister and I in the sentence. We is a personal pronoun. It is plural in form. That means we refers to more than one noun. Here is another sentence. Father works for mother, sister, and I.
We can also say this sentence this way. Father works for us. We use the word us to replace the nouns mother, sister, and I in the sentence. Us is a personal pronoun. This means it is plural in form. Let's study this another sentence. Marco is my friend. What if you're talking to Marco? How can you tell him that he is your friend? To refer to Marco, the personal pronoun you is used. You are my friend. Kids, the personal pronoun you is used when we are speaking directly to another person or people. Whether the person we are talking to is singular or plural, we use the personal pronoun you. Look at the sentences again. You are my friend. Notice that the verb is in the first sentence was changed into are. The pronoun you is always followed by the verb are if it is happening at present. Now, let's read this another sentence from the story, Special Days with Family. My father and brother water the plants every day too. We can also say this sentence this way. They water the plants every day too. The underlined nouns in the first sentence are my father and brother. We use the word they to replace these nouns. They is a personal pronoun. It is a word that takes the place of plural nouns that refer to people. My father and brother are plural nouns in the sentence, meaning they are made up of two or more nouns. This time, Let's read this sentence. Christian gave Jane, Peter, and Mark Candice. We can also say the sentence this way. Christian gave them Candice. Them is also a personal pronoun. It is a word that also takes the place of plural nouns. Let's read this another sentence from the story. The dog is our pet at home. We can also say this sentence this way. It is our pet at home. It is also a personal pronoun. It is a word that replaces a singular noun that refers to an animal, place, or thing. Look at this another sentence. The cats and dogs are playing together. We can also say this sentence this way. They are playing together. Kids, the underlined nouns in the first sentence are the cats and dogs, which are names of animals. We also use the word they to replace plural nouns that refer to animals. The cats and dogs are plural nouns in the sentence, meaning they are made up of two nouns. Here is another sentence. The little boy ate the candies. We can also say this sentence this way. The little boy ate them. Notice that the plural noun, the candies, was also replaced by the pronoun them. In this sentence, them replaces the candies which is a thing, not a person. Now that you know what personal pronouns are, let's test your learning and show what you've got. Kids, can you help Elise identify the personal pronoun used in the sentence? Choose from the bubbles. Number one, Mirna, it's with me.
as well. We also washed the dishes after meals. Who washed the dishes after meals? Nice one! We. The pronoun we is the doer of the action washed. You are my friend. Who is my friend? Very good! You. The pronoun you is the subject or the topic in the sentence. They water the plants too. Who water the plants? Magnificent! The word they is the doer of the action watered. It is our pet at home. What is our pet at home? Two thumbs up! The word it refers to our pet at home, making it as the subject or topic in the sentence. Kids, the pronouns he, she, they, I, we, you, and it are called subject pronouns. What are subject pronouns? A subject pronoun is the doer of the action or the subject or topic in the sentence. Look at the table. Kids, you can see in the table the different points of view or the noun being referred to. First person refers to the person speaking. Second person refers to the person spoken to. And the third person refers to the person being talked about. The subject pronouns depend on the quantity or number of nouns being referred to. We use I, you, he, she, and it if the doer of the action or the subject or topic is singular in form. These are other examples of sentences that use singular subject pronouns. I am a pupil. You are beautiful. He is graceful. She bakes cakes. It runs fast. We use we, you, and they if the doer of the action or the subject or topic is plural in form. These are examples of sentences that use plural subject pronouns. We clean the house. You make me happy. They are laughing together. Here are other sentences that were also given a while ago. Mother loves me. Who does mother love? Incredible! Me! The pronoun me is the receiver of the action word loves. 
Father works for us. For whom Father works? Amazing! For us! The pronoun us is the receiver of the action word works. We love you. Who do we love? Great job! You! The pronoun you is the receiver of the action word love. Sheena gave her a letter. To whom did Sheena give the letter? Amazing! To her! The pronoun her is the receiver of the action word gave. Mr. Martinez bought him a new cell phone. For whom did Mr. Martinez buy the cell phone? Amazing! For him! The pronoun him is the receiver of the action word bought. Hannah found it. What did Hannah find? Incredible! It! The pronoun it is the receiver of the action found. Christian gave them candies. To whom did Christian give the candies? Amazing! To them! The pronoun them is the receiver of the action word gave. Kids, the pronouns me, us, you, her, him, it, and them are called object pronouns. What are object pronouns? An object pronoun is the receiver of the action in the sentence. Look at the table. The object pronouns depend on the point of view or the person being referred to and the quantity or number of nouns being referred to. We use me, you, him, her, or it if the receiver of the action is singular in form. These are other examples of sentences that use singular object pronouns. My teacher calls me. Myra likes you. Dina hugs her tight. Afia bought him a bag. Christophe colored it using crayons. We use us, you, and them if the receiver of the action is plural in form. These are examples of sentences that use plural object pronouns. Mother cooks for us. Your neighbor wanted you to come over their house. Miss Santos guides them in the activity. Amazing kids! Now, let's test your learning. It's time to show what you've got. Can you help Elise find the appropriate subject pronouns to replace the underlined nouns in the sentence? Choose your answer from the keys. Number one, the boys and girls are cleaning. Incredible! They is the correct subject pronoun. They are cleaning. Number two. Dan and I went to the park yesterday. Amazing! We is the correct subject pronoun. We went to the park yesterday. This time, help Elise find the appropriate 
object pronouns to replace the underlined nouns in the sentence. Number three, Jenny made a cake for mother. Awesome! Her is the correct object pronoun. Jenny made a cake for her. Number four. I really like chocolates. Awesome! Them is the correct object pronoun. I really like them. Yay! I got all the right answers! Wonderful! I'm so happy for you! Nice one, Elise! But there is another kind of pronoun that you have to learn. What is it, teacher? It's called possessive pronoun. Read it, Elise. Possessive pronouns? What are they? To know more about possessive pronouns, listen carefully. Welcome to Exploring English with Liz. Welcome to Exploring English with Liz. Let's talk about possessive pronouns. Possessive pronouns are pronouns that show possession or ownership. Look at the sentences. This is the bag of Dorothy. The bag is hers. In sentence one, to whom does the bag belong? Amazing! It belongs to Dorothy. Is Dorothy a boy or a girl? Yes, she is a girl. Notice that the word hers was used to show that the bag belongs to Dorothy. The word hers is an example of a singular possessive pronoun. Hers is used to show that something belongs to a girl being talked about in the sentence. Let us look at another example. This is the robot of Gab. The robot is his. In sentence one, to whom does the robot belong? Amazing! It belongs to Gab. Is Gab a boy or a girl? Good job! Gab is a boy. Notice that the word his was used to show that the bag belongs to Gab. The word his is an example of a singular possessive pronoun. His is used to show that something belongs to a boy being talked about in the sentence. Look at another possessive pronouns. These are the new uniforms of my brother and I. The word ours in the second sentence is an example of a plural possessive pronoun. Ours is used to show that something belongs to a person or people including the person speaking or writing. This is the color of the B. The color is its. The word its in the second sentence is an example of a singular possessive pronoun. Its is used to show that something belongs to an animal, a place, or a thing being talked about in the sentence. This is mom and dad's new car. The new car is theirs. The word theirs in the second sentence is an example of a plural possessive pronoun. Theirs is used to show that something belongs to the group of people, animals, or things being talked about in the sentence. You have a cute bike. The bike is yours. 
The word yours in the second sentence is an example of a singular or plural possessive pronoun. Yours is used to show that something belongs to a person or to people that the speaker is speaking to. I have a doll. This doll is mine. The word mine in the second sentence is an example of a singular possessive pronoun. Mine is used to show that something belongs to the person speaking or writing. Kids, the words hers, his, ours, its, theirs, mine, and yours are all possessive pronouns. They show ownership or possession. Now, here's another chart that shows other possessive pronouns. The words my, your, his, her, are, their, and its also show ownership or possession. These words come before the thing it owns. Here are the examples. I am Karen. This is my brush. Dino is talking to Lani. This is your book. This is Mangberto. This is his saw. This is Tisha Raquel. This is her table. My brother and I will play after school. These are our toys. These are mom and dad. These are their pets. This is Cutie, the cat. This is its bed. Now, it's another round of testing your learning. Kids, show what you've got. Guide Elise in choosing the right possessive pronoun from the balloons to complete the sentence in the paper. Number one. The shirt belongs to Jacob. It is blank. Fantastic! His is the correct possessive pronoun. The shirt belongs to Jacob. It is his. Number two. This phone belongs to you. It is blank. Great job! Yours is the correct possessive pronoun. This phone belongs to you. It is yours. Number three. I own the black pen. This is blank black pen. Incredible! My is the correct possessive pronoun. I own the black pen. This is my black pen. Number four. Bab and Bean own the big toy car. It is blank toy car. Great job! There is the correct possessive pronoun. Bob and Bean own the big toy car. It is their toy car. Teacher, my answers are all correct. I'm so happy. I want to see Mother now to tell her the good news. Great job, Elise. Thank you for joining me today in your exploration in English. Thank you, kids, as well. Again, this is Teacher Monica. See you all again. 
I thank you more, teacher. See you again. Bye. Bye, Elise. Bye, Gina. Let's go, Elise. Are you happy now? Yes, Gina. I really learned a lot today. I now know what personal pronouns are and its two types. The subject pronouns and the object pronouns. That's correct. What else have you learned? I also learned how to use possessive pronouns. Mm, great job! You listen to your teacher carefully while she is discussing. That's why... Now, I have realized the importance of listening, Gina. <laughs> great job! Bye for now, Elise. See you next time. Bye! Did you enjoy the lessons today, kids? It's fun to learn, right? Always remember that listening to our teachers, to our family members, to our friends, and to everyone around us is an important life skill. Remember, things are better understood when listening carefully. This is Elise. See you next time for another exploration in English. Bye!